I'm Sergio Crew, and welcome to Deepening Journalism, the show where we talk about real stories, stories that actually matters, stories that traditional news will not tell for whatever reason, stories like missing people. Now, this is 15-year-old Evelyn Whitus. She's been missing since Wednesday, June the 19th, around 3 a.m. That's when she went missing from her home on the 4200 block of Ron Street in the Northeast, the Holmesburg section. Uh, I sat down and I talked with her family. Check this out. runaway she's never went out the home without my permission we're basically always together I take her to school and from school so this is she's not a typical run, street running type of child I'm on Ron Street and Frankfurt Avenue in the Northeast the Holmesburg section right up the street where Evelyn lives now for our safety we are not going to show the actual block but I'm standing right outside of a local bank as you can see that is her flyer right there it's still saying that she's missing because she is. Now, the family describes her as loving, she's an artist, and also an honor roll student. She plays several instruments. She's very talented. She can speak several languages that make you, she, she can actually change her voice to any type of nationality. She's an awesome girl. According to her aunt, Evelyn was on a chat app communicating with older men, men at least over the age of 18. The day before she went missing, she was in communication with one of those men. It was sold, sold by those predators and by those pedophiles who made her believe that was better for her to be with them than to be with her family. We went to get our nails done for the banquet and she picked out this pretty blue. And we was walking from the Frank Red Avenue. And she wrapped her arms around me and she told me she loved me. And I didn't understand it at the moment. What was y'all, what was y'all relationship like? <laughs> so on the day that Evelyn went missing, she ran out her house and towards Frankfurt Avenue. Now there's a Wells Fargo bank right across the street. Her family is still waiting to get the surveillance video. Now, her community has been showing a lot of support. I just showed y'all the flyer at the bank, but let's take a walk over here really quickly. There's another flyer of her right there. We don't know how we can go on without her. So please, release her, or if you know where she is, and if you're willing to get involved, don't turn the other cheek. Because it could be your child pictured on a t-shirt next. I cannot imagine what this family is going through. You know, it's a shame that it's been over a week and Evelyn is still missing, according to the police. Uh, so I did speak with them. So she is still currently missing. So the more updates I get from them, the more I will update you. Now, this seems to be a trend. A lot of young black girls have been reported missing over the last few months. And here, right here in Philadelphia, right here in the city that I grew up in. So, you know, I take this personal. Uh, the, the news won't cover these types of stories. It just won't. So this is why Deeper Than Journalism exists. I take this very, very personal. So um, on behalf of the family, I'm reaching out to Philadelphia police. I'm calling out to all city council members, all organizations. If you have any resources or anything that can help this family, anything that can help Evelyn come back home, this can be your daughter. She's 15 years old. This can be your niece. This can be your grandchild. She's missing. People, most people don't care about these types of stories when it happens to these types of people, unless it happens to them. So if you have any information or if you know someone who is currently missing and you need help, give us a call at 215-558-5268 and we will help you. I'm Sergio Cruel and this is Deeper Than Journalism. Peace and love. Thank you for watching.